You're probably spending hours watching courses, searching Google for answers, and still feeling like you're not retaining anything. Maybe you're even thinking, I just don't have time to learn new skills with my schedule. Well, I've been using ChatGPT as my personal tutor for months now, and here's what surprised me. Most people are using it completely wrong. They're treating it like Google when it's actually capable of so much more. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn ChatGPT into your on-demand tutor that actually adapts to how you learn. We'll go through real use cases, from prepping for certifications to practicing interviews, and I'll share the exact prompts and strategies that'll help you learn faster and retain more, all while fitting into your busy schedule. First up, let's talk about why ChatGPT is fundamentally different from every other learning tool you've tried. ChatGPT as your interactive tutor. Here's the thing about ChatGPT that most people don't realize. It actually knows how to teach. And I don't mean it just spits out information like a search engine. ChatGPT breaks down complex subjects into simple steps, asks you guiding questions, and adapts its explanations to your level. It's like having a tutor who's available 24-7 and never gets tired of your questions. Think about the last time you tried to learn something new. You probably opened Google, got a list of 10 different articles, spent 20 minutes reading through them, and then forgot most of it by the next day, right? That's because static search doesn't engage you. ChatGPT is different because it turns casual curiosity into actual structured learning sessions. And here's where it gets interesting. According to OpenAI, ChatGPT's study mode is especially useful for homework help, test prep, and learning new topics. But in practice, this means something really powerful for busy professionals. You can ask a quick question on your lunch break, get a concise explanation, and even request follow-up quizzes or summaries to test yourself. The AI retains context from your previous chats, so the more you use it, the more personalized your interactions become. Let me give you a concrete example. Say you want to understand quantum computing. You could ask ChatGPT to explain it in simple terms. And instead of getting a Wikipedia dump, you'd get something like, imagine a regular bit that can be zero or one. A quantum bit or qubit can be zero, one, or both at the same time. That's called superposition. And then ChatGPT would ask, does that make sense so far? Let me know if you want more detail or examples. See how that's different? It's checking in with you, making sure you're following along. Real use cases. Now let me walk you through five specific ways you can use ChatGPT that go way beyond just asking random questions. These are the use cases that have completely changed how I approach learning. First, learning new concepts. ChatGPT walks through ideas with examples and then asks you to explain them back. This builds understanding through active engagement instead of passive reading. You're not just consuming information, you're actually processing it and reinforcing it in your brain. Second, summarizing documents. If you've got a 20-page report or research paper, ChatGPT can provide concise overviews or bullet point notes that save you time and highlight the key points. I use this constantly for industry reports and technical documentation. Just paste the text, ask for a summary, and you'll get the essentials in seconds. Third, certification prep. This one's huge if you're studying for professional certifications. ChatGPT can create study plans and practice quizzes, then explain the answers when you get them wrong. It targets your weak areas with focused review. For example, if you're preparing for the PMP exam, you could ask ChatGPT to create a five-day study plan and quiz you on different topics each day. It'll even adjust the difficulty based on how you're doing. Fourth, interview practice. ChatGPT can simulate an interviewer and ask you industry-specific questions. This improves your confidence and communication skills before the real thing. You can tell it what role you're interviewing for, and it'll ask you relevant technical or behavioral questions 
then give you feedback on your answers. And fifth, essay and report brainstorming. ChatGPT generates outlines, thesis ideas, and structured drafts that speed up your planning and ensure logical flow. Instead of staring at a blank page, you can get a complete outline with key sections mapped out in minutes. Wait until you see how these compare to traditional learning methods. I'll show you the breakdown in just a moment. Live demo. Seeing it in action. Let me show you what these use cases actually look like in practice, because seeing the prompts and responses makes all the difference. For learning a new concept, you might ask, Explain the basics of quantum computing in simple terms for a beginner. And ChatGPT would respond with that explanation about qubits and superposition, then check if you want more detail. Notice how it doesn't just dump information, it invites you to continue the conversation. For summarizing a document, you'd paste in a paragraph or article and say, summarize the following report on climate change impacts. ChatGPT would break it down into digestible points like temperature rise, extreme weather, ecosystems, sea levels, and solutions. Each point gets a one-sentence explanation, and then it offers to expand on anything you found interesting. For certification prep, you could say, I'm studying for the project management professional exam. Create a five-day study plan and ask me a practice question each day. ChatGPT would lay out exactly what to study each day and include quiz questions like, what's the difference between a project charter and a scope statement. It paces the learning for you. For interview practice, you'd prompt, act as an interviewer for a software engineering position. Ask me two technical questions. And ChatGPT would get into character, asking things like, can you explain the difference between a stack and a queue? Followed by, what is polymorphism in object-oriented programming? And give an example of how you've used it. And for brainstorming an essay, you'd ask, I need to write a report on renewable energy. Help me outline key sections. ChatGPT would generate a complete outline with introduction, types of renewable energy, benefits, challenges, case studies, future outlook, and conclusion. Each section comes with brief notes on what to cover. The key here is that you can iterate on any of these. If the first response isn't quite right, you just ask ChatGPT to adjust, elaborate, or take a different angle. That iterative process is what makes it so powerful. How ChatGPT compares to other resources. Now, you might be thinking, okay, ChatGPT sounds useful, but I already have Google, online courses, and maybe even access to tutors. Why do I need this? Great question. Let's break down the differences because ChatGPT actually fills a unique gap that none of these other resources can match. Compared to Google search, ChatGPT gives you conversational answers instead of just a list of links. Google returns web links and facts, and then you have to sift through them yourself. ChatGPT provides step-by-step -step explanations and summaries on demand. Plus it refines answers based on your follow-up questions. Think about how much time you waste clicking through search results versus getting a direct, tailored answer immediately. When we look at online courses like Coursera or Khan Academy, they offer structured lessons, which is great for depth. But here's the problem. They're often rigid. You're locked into a fixed curriculum and a set pace. ChatGPT adapts the lesson speed and focuses on exactly what you need right now. If you already understand the basics and just need help with advanced concepts, ChatGPT skips ahead with you instead of making you sit through hours of beginner material. And then there's traditional one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which is highly personalized, but expensive and hard to schedule. ChatGPT is available 24 seven and can tailor explanations on the fly. It's basically like having a personal tutor in your pocket, except it doesn't cost hundreds of dollars an hour and you don't need to book appointments weeks in advance. Here's what really stands out. ChatGPT combines quick summaries and step-by-step -step help with conversational interaction, all for free or with affordable premium options. The main limitation is that it may hallucinate or skip steps sometimes, so you should fact check critical information. But for most learning tasks, it's incredibly reliable and efficient. The bottom line is this. ChatGPT isn't meant to replace everything else. 
It's a complementary tool that fills in the gaps. Use Google for up-to-date information and diverse sources. Use online courses for certification and structured depth. And use ChatGPT for everything in between, especially when you need personalized, interactive help on your own schedule. Why this matters for busy professionals? Let me tell you why ChatGPT has become such a game changer specifically for busy professionals. If you're working full time, you don't have hours to dedicate to traditional courses. You need learning that fits into the gaps of your day, during your commute, on your lunch break, or late at night when you finally have a few quiet minutes. ChatGPT meets you where you are. You can access it at home, on your office computer, or on your smartphone. Learning sessions can be as short as five minutes or as long as you want. There's no commitment, no scheduling, no logging into a platform and navigating through modules. You just open the app and start asking questions. And here's the part that really surprised me. The AI coach quickly gauges what you already know and skips the familiar material. It focuses on your knowledge gaps instead of wasting your time on stuff you've already mastered. Over multiple sessions, ChatGPT remembers your preferences and knowledge level, so it becomes more helpful the more you use it. According to research from TTMS, employees can slot these learning sessions into their schedules whenever time permits, which is a huge plus for busy professionals. And get this, surveys show that about half of younger learners now use AI tools like ChatGPT instead of traditional search for studying. That's how indispensable it has become. ChatGPT can even craft flashcards or a spaced repetition review plan to reinforce what you learn. Spaced repetition is one of the most effective learning techniques. It's backed by decades of cognitive science. And ChatGPT automates it for you. You don't have to manually create flashcard decks or track review intervals. Just ask, and it handles the whole system. In essence, ChatGPT combines the best of textbooks, tutors, and note-taking apps into one always-on learning assistant. And that's not marketing hype. That's genuinely how it functions when you use it strategically. Best Practices Getting the most from ChatGPT All right, now let me share the strategies that'll take your ChatGPT learning from good to exceptional. These are the practices I've refined over months of daily use, and they make a massive difference in accuracy and retention. First, be clear and specific with your prompts. Spell out exactly what you need instead of being vague. For example, ask, explain quantum computing step by step as if I'm a beginner, rather than just teach me quantum computing. The more specific you are, the better the response you'll get. Think of it like giving directions to someone. Vague instructions lead to vague results. Second, provide context about your background or goals. Tell ChatGPT who you are and why you're learning this. Something like, I'm a marketing manager, explain AI in terms of advertising. Let's the AI tailor its explanations to your needs. This makes the examples more relevant and the analogies more relatable to your daily work. Third, use system or role instructions. You can say, you are an expert tutor, or explain this in a formal tone to guide the response style. If you want a casual explanation, say so. If you need something technical and precise, specify that. ChatGPT responds to these cues and adjusts accordingly. Fourth, embrace iterative refinement. Don't settle for the first answer if it's not quite right. If the response is too brief or unclear, ask ChatGPT to elaborate, rephrase, or give more examples. OpenAI actually recommends this iterative approach. Start with a prompt, review the reply, then adjust and ask again. Each round gets you closer to the perfect explanation. Fifth, break complex tasks into parts. For big topics, have ChatGPT handle one piece at a time. For example, first summarize chapter one, then quiz me on it, prevents information overload and makes learning more manageable. This chunking technique is backed by cognitive science. Our brains process smaller pieces of information more effectively. But here's where it gets really powerful. Ask for active engagement. Request quizzes, flashcards, or problems to solve. For instance, 
quiz me on the key terms of this topic and give feedback, uses spaced repetition and active recall, which are proven to boost retention. Passive reading is one of the least effective ways to learn, while active testing is one of the best. ChatGPT makes it effortless to incorporate active learning into every session. Seventh, specify the output format if you need bullet points, tables, or checklists. For example, list the steps as bullet points ensures the answer is easy to review and reference later. This is especially useful when you're creating study guides or quick reference materials. Eighth, and this is critical, fact check important information. ChatGPT can hallucinate facts, especially dates, statistics, or legal advice. For anything critical, double check against reliable sources. I treat ChatGPT like a knowledgeable colleague who's usually right, but occasionally makes mistakes. Verify before you rely on the information for high stakes decisions. And finally, if you have ChatGPT memory enabled or use custom instructions, save your learning preferences and study topics. That way, future sessions build on past progress without you having to re-explain your background every time. It's like picking up where you left off with a personal tutor who already knows your goals and learning style. These practices might seem like extra work at first, but they become second nature quickly. And the payoff is enormous. You save time, improve learning outcomes, and actually retain what you study instead of forgetting it a week later. So let's recap what we've covered today. ChatGPT is fundamentally different from traditional learning tools because it's interactive, personalized, and available whenever you need it. We've looked at five major use cases, learning new concepts, summarizing documents, certification prep, interview practice, and brainstorming, and you've seen exactly what those look like in action. We compared ChatGPT to Google search, online courses, and one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And the key takeaway is that ChatGPT fills a unique gap by offering conversational, adaptive learning on demand. For busy professionals, this means you can slot learning into your schedule instead of rearranging your life around rigid courses. And we covered the best practices that'll help you get the most accurate, helpful responses. Be specific, provide context, use role instructions, iterate on your prompts, break tasks into chunks, request active engagement, specify formats, fact check critical info, and leverage memory features. As we move into a future where AI enhanced learning becomes the norm, mastering tools like ChatGPT is going to be key to staying efficient and sharp in your career. The people who learn how to use AI as a learning partner will have a massive advantage over those who stick to old methods. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments what you're planning to learn with ChatGPT. Are you prepping for a certification? Trying to pick up a new programming language? I'd love to hear what you're working on. And if you want more content on AI tools and productivity strategies, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.